here at Cars and Coffee. Everybody's still rolling in steady. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all, I mean, they are pouring in. Out here with the All Out Mexico crew. We just got our hoodies. We are set up at Cars and Coffee. Hopefully, we'll see some more people we know. And like I said, we just got here, so we're going to do some walking around, check out what they got here. Yeah, that'll get it. That's it. Oh, dude, a rabbit. You kidding me? I uh, see. He claims he sold it to some old boy in Florida. Golly, this is the very first manual car I ever learned how to drive. Yes. No, Tanner had one. Oh, that's right. It was red. Same thing, except it was red. Y'all listen to this Mustang. Yeah. Everybody in the parking lot just looked, no doubt financial mistake cole's got to get something to eat over here beyond yeah, gravy i'm sorry guys I'm yeah sorry. matthew ate yesterday so he's good yeah i'm eating right now <laughs> one of the new cyber trucks in like a granite color there's the flake what do the beds look like oh wow a little charging What do y'all think? It's uh, it's out of our tax bracket, that's for sure. I would have bought one, but I don't like how it comes stainless and it leaves finger breath. Yeah. That's the only, that was the deciding factor. Yeah, you can't use wax, you have to use stainless cleaner. That's why, that's yeah. why I bought Use your oven tape. cleaner on it. Yep. Yeah, that's why I bought it. And that stuff's expensive. That's why I have it. Yep. 100%. She's just looking to see the inside and can't see it. She's too short. That's just what she, you're gonna have to grow a little bit. I don't know where my friends went. Oh, there's Fatty. <laughs> yep, see, that's what Cole's talking about. The oven cleaner. That's why I didn't buy one. Yep, gotta keep your shenanigan beaters off of it. Look, them brought the mower out to the cars and it's got a stack on it. Uh oh my God. Uh -uh. Get out of here. Get the ether. Get out. Let's hear the chip! John B. We gotta get the gold. John B. Get the gold. What about that? They got them one. They, Wait, they, them. they have them they got one. one in on a cereal box the other day. That's more my speed. But that's more my size. Got him. Look at all the luxuries they had back in the day. Absolutely beautiful. I can't believe that they, they had the whole side window rolled down. The, all the time they never roll it up i you know i just now noticed that look at this big powerhouse they got up here god absolutely insane yeah we probably lock in something yeah it don't get much more authentic than this feller's outfit right here got the new balances on and the corvette shirt yes sir it does not get more authentic than that right there yeah goodness there he is the man himself Cards. Uh. oh no what i just want to go home what no way i'm sorry justin he just ruined your part in the video man your second gen school but it's not shopping cart cool.
Nigel here's got a uh, LS swap BMW. Yeah, there's those guys that keep following us. I don't know what he's doing, but. So tell us about your car, man. I mean, obviously it's not, it doesn't have a BMW motor in it. So yeah, no, for sure. So it's a 2007 BMW uh, 328XI. So originally it was all wheel drive. And I, you know, convert to rear wheel drive. It's got a 370 cubic inch, six liter LS, uh, 91, 102 force inductions turbo. Bill 4080 and then a Ford 88 rear end. Awesome. So I took everything that sucks about BMW and took the shit it took, out. Took it took it out. out. Yeah, it took it out. Kept the reliability factor. Yeah. Motion, race work, steering wheel, Holly, dash. Man says his heated seats yeah, still heated work. Seats still. AC's going in next. Who did all the tuning? Uh, Travis Duncan, Duncan Performance does all awesome. the tuning. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Tune and holler at him. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, let's get under the hood here. Tell us more about this monster. Yeah, so it's a. It's a Bill six liter, uh, garage crank pistons. It's got the trick flow 245 heads. It's got a force inductions 91 102 millimeter turbo on it. And besides that, it's really, it's really just kind of the plug and play LS. Man, this oh, thing is on, absolutely beautiful. It's, it's, oh yeah, it's on a E85. So I want to do flex build, but the sensor kept messing up. So it's on pure E right now. I got three Walboro 450s uh, in the surge tank back there. And it's the factory system feeding the surge tank. Awesome. So it, this is awesome. Runs like stock, you know, the push button still works on there. That is it's insane. It's, um, uh, damn, uh, uh, Bosch 220s. Okay. So yeah, Bosch 220s injectors. That's awesome. Awesome, uh, so, man. So what did it make at Duncan's? Um, it made right at right at 1100, and then I ran out of intercooler. I got, I, got I bought the cheapest intercooler yeah. I could find yeah. for some dumbass reason. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you ran out of, man. Yeah. 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 And that's through a 480 too. They had a lot of power. Uh huh. So that's really probably like. 12, 1250 is really that's, that's awesome. Yeah, man, this thing is absolutely sick. And it's, I mean, I know it's a it's a project, but I mean, the inside stuff's clean, man. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to swap out the interior God. either black or red. Still got heated seats and shit, so my buns are warm. Yeah, I was about to say, this thing is a... Uh... So what, what'd you build the car for? Uh, man, I built it for like drag racing, like on the strip, yep, yep. and no prep, but it's too, it's too damn comfortable. I had a Fox body, twin turbo Fox body that I was racing, and then I built this to race before I got the Fox body, and then I finished this up, and I was like, man, I can't put a cage in here. Yeah, I know, this is, I was about to say, this thing, I mean, on a good tire, too. Dude, it looks fucking solid. It's like, solid. It looks really fucking good, yeah. That's awesome. Like, surprisingly well. How long has it been done? Uh, dude, not long at all. Probably like a month tops. Oh, really? Literally, like it took like two years to get it, you know, fully done because yep. there's been a lot of money in here. Yeah. Oh, oh, I believe it. Going with stages, but. Yeah, I get that. I get no, that. I was about to say, I mean, this stuff does get very costly, especially whenever you get it close up to around that thousand mark for sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. How, uh, how's it full? Dude, quick. I'm, I'm at full boost at probably like 3,000 to 3,500 RPM. That's insane. It's on a 91 102. So that's yeah. T4 T6. Uh, dual V, man. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to do T6, but man, it's, it's so compact in there, I couldn't fit anything else. I got you. Man, this is awesome. I appreciate it. Well, man, we appreciate you talking to us about it. Like I said, we'll get some videos of this thing on the dyno ripping. Hey, what do we got going on today, Hunter? 12,000 horsepower Hellcat. Yep. That only makes 875 to the wheel, each wheel, all four wheels, you know? Yeah. Blasting sexy red. You know, we are out here. With the boys. Got all the boys. With the boys, you know what I'm saying? What do we got here? Play sexy. You gotta play some sexy red, <laughs> man. <laughs> Crazy critter. Yes, sir. My narrator's telling me that this thing's fast. Yeah, I think it is. It's got a tire on it. Just a tip. Just a tip. Just oh, it's a and a 360 pole. Anybody got a bottle one? How are you feeling today? Feeling swell, sir. Swell? You gonna, gonna play some make, sexy red? We're gonna make some solid 600 horsepower. 600 horsepower. 875. Are you gonna play some sexy red for us? Ski! Come on, big dog.
Hey, so how much am I getting paid? Like I was close, but not. Yeah, I'll pay you back in gum. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Just head over there right now. <laughs> made like eight sixty something. Uh, I think the last one made eight twenty six. Yeah, eight twenty six. He's right on the money though. Why didn't you bow duke it? We're getting ready to head. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a contraption. We're getting ready to drop Cole's truck off at uh, Mike, Michael Dickerson's shop. We just got done tenting a Mini X. For those that don't know, Matthew and I own a window tent shop. We did five on the sides and back of this and 20 on the windshield and man does it look good got the tow pig dialed got her on there we're too poor to afford a car hauler so we went to u-haul you can tell it ain't a timbo you can tell it's got a rear end just <laughs> well crazy creature. yeah well she's dialed bro dialed dang what size trailers this, this thing fits perfect yeah we gonna leave the windows down? I would. Alright, cool. More airflow that way. Got the LTZ. Looks like we've been listening to Lenny Cooper. God, I wish I had this color. I don't know. We should have pulled fast truck with fast truck, but whatever. Yeah, put that restrictor on there. I just put it on there that way that yeah. going down the road it doesn't spin the yeah. He's literally oh, no. losing at least 100 horsepower. God, you're an animal. Look, just went right on there. Should have brought your turbo guards. Hey, I got it in there. They're in the truck? Yeah, you're an animal. Turbo guard. Oh. I couldn't have two. Yeah. Two to four, two. Well, two, you right now, two, two locks two up motors. Two yeah. locks hey, up motors. Up next. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Look at these hard working men. Golly. Yeah, we all think about that. That's interesting. Look at him, just dropping his baby off. All these Chevrolets around here, those square bod and the Chevys over there. And you wouldn't believe it, but he's even got a freaking Hellcat here. Look, a blue one at that, good God. Animal, uh-oh, 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 yes sir. We about to get us cold start. truck out and y'all will see in the video I'm rolling into it 
and it's spiking boost like crazy. almost acting dead pedal so when I would roll into it we would three honk roll into it and it would just out of nowhere like peg boost out um, and in one of the videos you know it really starts getting in like tearing out well long story short we pull over I unhook the co2 roll into it again so on no co2 the truck's supposed to make six pounds of boost and with that being said, I rolled into it. It pegged like 35.7 pounds of boost, which, you know, that's just, that should not be happening. Um, the truck made 990 on 18 pounds. So, I mean, at 35 pounds of boost, that's enough to hurt something. Well, it did a big backfire in one of the ribs because I didn't know what was going on. And we got back to the spot pop the hood i'm listening to it we got we got engine noise um i took it to michael dickerson he changed the oil checked in the oil filter little bearing debris nothing crazy compression test looked great um but now he test drove the truck drove it around everything was good he gets back the noise is back we um he found a plug wire that was arcing off the turbo and thought we got lucky maybe that was the noise we were hearing but we didn't get lucky and the motor's got to come out so mikey's pulling the motor out of the truck right now and i'm going to take it to john shacklett at shacklett automotive in nashville he uh he's kind of been dying to build us a motor and he's going to get the chance so i'm going to have it fully rebuilt fully gone through if he says like we need to do this we need to do that we're doing it should be able to be probably 1500 horse rail horse power rated and so that ought to be plenty to be plenty fun when mikey was driving it he, it is on six pounds of boost like the gate should be with the you know has a six pound spring in it so we think something happened with the boost controller or something with the co2 but once we get the motor back in we'll figure all that out and go from there and get it to like i said i'm gonna have it retuned and i would have thought they would have had the safeties on with the holly but no i mean it straight up fueled the 35 pounds of boost and I mean, there's no telling the power it was making at 35 pounds of boost i mean it, it had to be something very stout um it felt very stout but it did not like it obviously the motor didn't but as far as going lean, it didn't lean out. Them, uh, them fix 1650s were doing good. But like I said, you know, it's just, it's a stock block 6.0. It's already bored 30 over. You know, it's got a forged crank, all the all the good rotating assembly. So luckily, we shouldn't have to do much other than like bearings and stuff like that. But if he sees anything, he's gonna go ahead and do it. Maybe a little porting on the head, but that's where we're at. Um, I know the video kind of left everybody like what the heck's going on like they didn't even get a good run um i got to run taylor it really wasn't like a uh a race you would say but because you know he just looked over hit his hit his roll race mode tore out but you know we did big turbo things and come around them but you know that's expected um i have a little single cab it's light makes big power you know like obviously i mean that mug's over there with the ac seat on with the sub bumping so you know how it is kind of not even a fair comparison but we got to have a little bit of fun, me and Matthew solo, and yeah, that's where we're at on the truck. Um, the motor's coming out, but hey, at least going back fresh, it should be able to be 100% right. We know it's right, and I'm gonna get it to a tuner, and do we're gonna do flex fuel, have it on 93 and E85. That way I can road trip into shows and stuff. Right now it's on only E85, so that kind of stinks. Probably gonna have uh, work on putting a shifter in it, do a gated shifter in it. It's hard to do it on the column, and I gotta put it on a good tire when we get it back. Um, it's on some Nitto from Triple Fives, and uh, I mean, it's a good tire, but it still will just blow them off. But yeah, that's where we're at on the truck, and we appreciate y'all tuning in, and hopefully we'll have an update soon and some more videos coming out. Thank y'all.